Right, guys, question two is another two marker. Don't worry, they won't always be two markers. But this one is on the top down approach. Okay, so here's the question. It's an evaluation question rather than an outline or a description question. So just be aware that whilst you can write less than you would do in an essay, for example, what you write still needs to be evaluative rather than descriptive. Okay, so you still need to say what the problem is and why it's a problem. Okay, now there are quite a few evaluation points that you could go for here, so go ahead and pause the video if you want to give it a go. All right, so this is what I have gone for. I've gone for the fact that research suggests that the classifications of organized and disorganized may not be mutually exclusive because there's arguments that suggest that killers can have a mixture of traits and that disorganized and organized is actually more of a continuum rather than a fixed category one way or another okay the reason i went for that evaluation point is that i know it's quite a short one and i don't need to branch out and describe too much in order for it to make sense Okay. Obviously, there are other limitations that you can have as well. So a nice one is that the top-down approach is based on flawed research due to problems with the sample, for example. Okay. Either way is fine. You just have to make sure that you're actually saying what the problem is and, more importantly, why that's a problem. That's what makes it an evaluative piece of content. Okay. I hope that makes sense.